Hi guys, welcome to Tech Trick Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to promote Redbubble products on Facebook. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. And as you know in Redbubble, you will be able to upload your different artwork, your different designs and start selling them on Redbubble. Now when you're a new owner or when you start your store absolutely fresh, of course no one would know your store right away. They would be able to see it through your For You page but they would feel a bit hesitant because it's a new store and they don't know if your products are reliable. So you're going to have to depend on other platforms out there so that you could promote your products and start selling them much better because in Redbubble there isn't really a way to promote your own store or promote your own product but as you can see there will be some options over here like artists to follow if ever your store is able to produce a lot of artworks maybe just maybe you will be able to see your store over here as well but for today's video I'm going to teach you how you will be able to promote your products as well in Facebook now, I'm going to suggest two methods. Actually, there will be an option in Redbubble to promote your specific product when you create them the first time. For example, over here, when I finish creating or uploading a design that I have created, as you can see, we have our design over here. And these are different products or different types of products that my design has, like a mock-ups for different products. And I could use the option, as you can see here, there will be an option that as an arrow over here when I click this I will be able to either share it on Facebook Twitter Tumblr and Pinterest over here so there is some sort of a way but if you would like to have an official way or like a much better way to do this you could collaborate a Redbubble and Facebook together by creating a Facebook page as you can see here now you could use your personal Facebook account if ever you would like to do that and it's completely up to you but I think it is more professional or more suitable to create your own Facebook page that is specifically designed for your Redbubble store. For example, my Redbubble store is called, I haven't made any store yet because I haven't finished the requirements but for example, my store is named Coffee World. I'm simply going to create a website or rather a page in Facebook that is called Coffee World and I'm going to edit the bio, all of the information over here and customize it so that it collaborates with my store in Redbubble like whatever my profile here, I'm going to have it on my Facebook account as well whatever my description or like my cover image, social links, bio, uh, any information that is read in Redbubble, I will also put it on my Facebook account over here. And this is where we will begin our promotion on Facebook using our Redbubble products over here. Now we did show you this option over here. When you create your page, of course, you can now click on this option that share on Facebook and you will be able to automatically post it on your Facebook. But I think it will only have like a Link. So let's try this on how it would look like. Click on share on Facebook. Then as you can see here, right now, I think it's not working properly. So let's try. Let's click on post to Facebook. And let's see if it will work actually with this method. So let's click on refresh on our profile over here. And there we go. This is what our output would look like. It's not going to look good. So this is a way. Yes, this is one of a way. But right now, it doesn't really look good. It doesn't look appealing. You don't know what the product is because all you need, all you see here is sorry for oh, for page is not found. But the link works as you can see here. It will be redirected to this page where our product is available. But this is not very appealing. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our page ourselves. So we're simply going to click move to trash over here. We're going to trash this output. Then we're going to go back here. Let's see. We won't be able to download the mockups available in Redbubble. As you can see, this different mockups over here that is available on our screen. We won't be able to download them, but we could use an alternative. We could go to Canva over here. This is my original file of my design. I'm simply going to click on Add New Page over here. And we're going to upload our design into Canva. And we're going to create our mockup here instead. And we're going to click our design over here. 
just like that we're going to wait for it to upload there we go we have our output right now our design on our page once again and i'm going to enlarge in this just like this that put it on the center and now we have our design over here so what we're going to do next is we're going to click on our image click on edit photo over here on the top left you can also easily use canva by the way it is absolutely for free you will be able to use the features that i am using right now without having to inquire or buy the premium version and over here on the edit photo scroll down and you will see this option mockups over here under the apps over here click on mockups and then you will be able to see different mockups available that we could use for our specific product over here so we're simply going to wait for it to load over here these are the different mockups that we have we have a mockup for a phone and we have mockups for a computer we also have mockups for cards like business cards over here like a design on the wall for example we could click this option over here like frames and poster you could have your design to be on a poster over here there's also canvas books over here like clothing as well and let's say our product is mainly going to be sold as a clothing or a mug example over here so you simply click on this option over here you could choose any mock-up that you would like to use for your design and use it as your image that we will be using to promote our product on Facebook. For example, this one. Just enlarge in this so that it fits our canvas just like that. And I'm going to crop this. I think that's not going to work. But let's leave it like that. There we go. We're simply going to download our photo over here. Now we're going to go back to Facebook and we simply click on our post over here. We're going to wait for it to download by the way. Over here as you can see it's uploading. Now we're going to click on our post over here. I suggest that you fully finish setting up your store for now before you actually post something. You could add your bio, details, hobbies, and featured, all of those stuff. Promote your, pro your page, then post your first product over here. So we're going to post our product that we're going to add photos that upload our design over here just like that then you can now add your description for example you could go back to redbubble over here get the link of the specific product copy this paste it over here just like that or you could also paste your store your store link and you could paste it over here as well then add your description the description is completely up to you i suggest that you make a very detailed description of your product so that you could promote it properly for example right now we're simply going to add a random description and let's say coffee mug design by now so this is just a sample but you i suggest that you use a more professional or a more attractive description and you could also boost your post over here as you can see you can simply click on this option then you can simply click on post and then you will be able to post and promote your Redbubble product at the same time and you can also promote your own Facebook page at the same time as you can see here. Now we could go back to our profile, click on this, just like that. Then we're going to wait, we're going to go back to our option over here. As you can see, this is our output over here. You have your link, you could see the product over here and they will be able to buy your product by simply going to this specific link over here. You could also use the meta business feature over here that would allow you to do a lot more things with Facebook, especially if you're using a page, you could create posts, create ad, and you could also create real stories live over here. You could see your posts over here. You could monitor them, how many people have been reached with your specific post, how many people have been reached through organic or from ads, all of those stuff. You have your notifications over here. You could also see the inbox of people chatting to your page, your planner over here. You could plan your different posts. For example, you would like to post one product per day. You could schedule them over here as you can see here. We could simply select a specific day and you could upload or put in the description that you would need to have on your Facebook page. And you could also see a preview over here. Now, personally, I would like to use the Meta Business Suite method more than this section over here because you could see things much better than uploading it over here. And you could also manage more things and monitor a lot of things over here as well. As you can see, you could also see how many people have been reached with your post. And that's it guys. That is how you could promote your Redbubble products to your Facebook store.
Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.